Hello and welcome back to the channel of Major Lunt 92, the shaman of gaming, and welcome back to Ready Steady Cook, where today we are going to be cooking brain onions with a side of spider and pike. But I haven't uploaded or even recorded a session of this for a fuck ton of time, so um, just uh, you might have to give me a little bit of time just to. Um, get myself into the position where I actually know what I'm doing, obviously just beat Ornstein Smo, got the Lord Vessel, and I've just remembered now that I actually want to try to upgrade the Gargoyle Tail Axe a little bit, because it's a, it is a quality weapon, and um, it's a quality weapon that I have never ever even dabbled in, um, so yeah, that could be quite, quite entertaining, plus I've got absolute stacks of... Uh, large shards and chunks so I'll be able to get it to plus 14 like right now which is uh, always what you're aiming for and I am gonna be rusty as shit see <laughs> told you yeah, I'm gonna be rusty because I haven't played this game in way over a month uh, but there's quite a few things that I actually want to touch on in this video obviously people have had uh, access to the Dark Souls 2 beta and I've just been looking at some of the comments. I'm going to get hit by that again. I've just been looking at some of the comments. Jesus, I am rusty. Um, I've been looking at some of the comments uh, for Epic Name Bros uh, video that he's just uploaded today. Uh, obviously, depending on what day you actually see this video on. Um, that might be yesterday or you know a fucking week ago for all I know. My videos haven't been getting a massive amount of views recently. Um, but yeah, I've just been looking at some people's opinions on it, and I actually want to drop mine because I haven't had a chance to play it, because obviously I am a 360 player. And um, basically, the main point is the, that when I heard that it was a PS3 exclusive, I was really I was really frustrated, actually, I'm not going to lie. Um, I, you know, I was quite annoyed. But when I thought about it more, I thought about... Every time I play this game, every time I play Dark Souls, I just com constantly miss the feeling that I had the first time I played through this game. The, you know, the mystery, the ambiguity, the just the fact that you don't know what's coming next. And I think if I'd actually seen some of Dark Souls 2, it would have taken away from the experience for me a little bit. Uh, I don't know whether people are different and people, uh, if anybody sees us who's played it on the PS3, the, the beta, then... You know, pipe up and tell me what you think. Is it possibly taking away a little bit from the experience? Um, for me, it would do. So, you know, I'm not actually really that mithered uh, about not playing it. Because I just remember, you know, just creeping through areas, um, like not knowing what's coming. And it was just, it's just, even though it was frustrating because I was a new player and, and you know, I had an unbelievable amount of deaths. That's what um, actually contributes to the whole achievement side of things, and I do I miss that. I wish I could trade brains with somebody who hasn't played the game, and who is uh, you know just starting to play the game. I forgot that actually. I'm gonna need to go back to um, Andre to uh, actually ascend that. So that's what we'll do now. Uh, and what I'm going to do in this episode is probably clear the painted world. I'm going to go into uh, into the Van Gogh and do do that area. Have I actually not got any homeward bones? You are fucking kicking my dick off. That is very very strange. Oh, it matters not. It gives me a little bit more time to talk. Um, yeah, so overall, I'm not that mad that I, I, that I didn't play the beta. I've, I've seen some people um, commenting, like I said, on Epic Name Bro's video uh, about what they thought of it. Obviously, he's had his opinions on it, and uh, I'm not going to comment anything about that because all I've seen from it's, you know, like the first 12 minute um, gameplay reveal and the other gameplay trailers and that kind of thing. So I really don't want to uh, comment too much on that. And it's a long time to wait yet, anyway. Um, so I, I am a, a sort of multifaceted gamer. Um, I'm not a, a one-trick pony whatsoever, and I've actually got another video that I'm going to be uploading talking about that a little bit. 
um, because I've sort of recently gone through a little bit of a period where I've been thinking about quitting because uh, quitting YouTube that is just because of a complete lack of success and it, it comes to that it comes to the point where I really don't know where I can go from here but I'm going to touch more on that in the in that actual video also what I could do in this video since I'm, I'm actually warping to here I don't think I've taken the Hydra out and and rescued Dusk yet um, now I'm not 100% sure but I'm, I don't think I have so I since I'm here I may as well do that because after the painted world I'll do the uh, I'll do the DLC area uh, but first to ascend this uh, Guy with all tail axe because I'm actually quite interested in this. Um, it's something that I've never, I've never put any time into, and it seems like it's got quite a lot of range. Um, it could be good against Artorius, perhaps. Uh, but we can get it all the way up to uh, actually up to plus fourteen. You know what? Spider Shield can get ascended as well. Um, yeah, this can go all the way up to plus 14, and then once we're in the DLC area, we can pick up that um, Titanite slab in there, and uh, ascend it to plus uh, plus 15. So it's got a D, it's more, it's more, it actually goes more up to a dex weapon actually, but it's still, it still counts, fuck it, still use it. And uh, let's go and actually check. Check. I can't actually believe I haven't got any homeward bones. I really need to pick some up. Um, I'm trying to think of somewhere where I'm, I'm pretty sure I haven't got any. Let's have another quick uh, browse. Yeah, I definitely haven't. I need to pick some up. Um, I'm trying to think of somewhere that I could get them from. Fuck it, we'll just do this. I don't mind if this video is uh, over long, um, because, uh, you know, I haven't uploaded anything, in, well, I have uploaded a couple of videos, but I've not recorded any sessions of this for a long, long time, so uh, I uh, actually do feel like playing a bit of Souls, why not? Watch me come all the way down here and then find that, the, uh, that I have actually killed the Hydra. Just ignore that little uh, annoying bastard. I don't know whether you can actually see it from up here. Let's have a look. Oh, hiya. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Trifle tits. I'm really, really not sure. I might have done it off camera. That's why I'm a little bit... I know I definitely haven't done it. Actually, have I done it? <laughs> I'm really confused. I think I actually might have done it. In fact, I've definitely done it. I have done it. <laughs> That's a complete waste of time. Never mind. It means we can do a rainbow flick on this guy. No, I didn't work. Well, that was a complete waste of time. At least we were in this area anyway. Um, and... Uh, and looking fantastic while whilst we do it. So yeah, uh, the painted world is where I'm going to go next, I think. But I also I definitely need to get some homeward bones. Uh, I'm trying to think of the best place to get them from. Probably, I know a place. Where the grass is greener. <clears throat> um, the the female merchant sells homeward bones, and that's the closest place I can think. Can think of. I might be forgetting it. As I say, I've not played this for a long, long time, so I might be forgetting a couple of things. Even though, you know, even with my extensive knowledge of this uh, this masterpiece, can you see Puckered Pussy's face through that? position it right. Not fucking now. Ah. 
Oh yeah, I want to follow through with this. Was that your doing? Yes. Of course. I can't believe you haven't picked up on the fact that I'm now an actual fucking onion bro. Or oh, onion sis if, uh, if that's the way you want to roll. Also, what I want to do whilst I'm here, but the homeward bones are more important. Uh, I want to, I want to actually upgrade my pyromancy flame even higher because I want to get Quailand to appear. Uh, because obviously I've I've gone down the uh, pyromancy route, and um, I want some better pyromancies because uh, I've pretty much only got shocking ones at the moment. Well, not shocking, but you know, you know what I'm saying. The pike's actually not half bad. I reckon it'd be pretty good in PvP because it's, you know, you can just go work and just poke safely. It's got a lot of range. I don't know. I've never really tried it. I'm not a, I'm not a huge PvPer, to be honest. I'm, I'm not the best at it. I've got a decent record, but um, I much prefer the, uh, the single-player aspect of the game. I am not going to sugarcoat that shit. I'm not going to car caramelize my onion, if you want to word it that way. So, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, high and dry. Well, I didn't mean to talk to her. Let's get a few, shall we? Let's get 20. 20. Come again, if you please. <laughs> it doesn't f fucking please me to come here. I'm not gonna lie to you. I could do with taking some more uh, achievement slots as well, actually. And as I said, I'm gonna uh, ascend my paramount flame. I need to check actually if I've got any consume uh, consumable soul items. So I've got a little bit more monies. Well, not monies, but souls, obviously. But that pretty much counts as the fucking currency anyway. So. Uh, some more dollar, some more larger and dollar, and, uh, and we can ascend to plus ten. Let's have a look. I'm pretty sure I haven't because I just looked through these. But what don't I, need? I don't actually need? I don't actually need these. I'm definitely not going to use that. So let's use that. Should be enough. There we go. Now, Koilana should appear when we go back down to the swamp so we can get some better pyromancies. But um, for now, I actually am going to start actually aiming to do something now. So let's. Let me just check what I've actually got. I've got the poison mist, fireball. I think fire orb's better. Um. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's, uh... I did rest at the Dark Moon Tomb, thank God for that. I'm gonna have a sip of me brew and be done. Oh, it's still fucking boiling hot. Can't believe it. Alright, some good shit. That's some good fucking produce. Uh, I haven't got Dark Moon Seance yet, so... Uh, I can't do the Gwendolyn fight, even though I do like it, because I do like kicking the shit out of that little bitch. And by bitch, I mean little male bitch. You know, my armor actually isn't upgraded that much. Um, I could probably, I could do with actually upgrading that a little bit more um, in future, but I don't think, I don't think the painted world is going to give me too many problems um, in terms of that. <laughs> Watch this, I'll get fucking devastated like ten times in a row. In fact, let's uh, let's deal with the painted world with our uh, gargoyle tail axe. That is a shout. Obviously, gives you that build up uh, at the beginning: bleed, uh, poison, and toxin. 
right at the beginning when you first start using it. I'm not 100% sure why. Well, it's not. I didn't expect the moveset to be like that. I expected it to be more like a halberd, but whatever. Hmm. It's it's really odd having a weapon that's this like big. But it has a moveset like the small axes and stuff like that. It's quite unusual. Don't think so. And these throw knives are actually useful if you want to cut uh, Priscilla's tail. Uh, for people that don't know about that, uh, the way you actually make her appear, if nobody knows this, which pretty much everybody w will know this, but uh, the way you actually get her to appear, it works on sort of staggering her, so it's sort of like repeat hits. Uh, but because she doesn't have a lot of health, it's easy to kill her uh, by accident. Oh, this has actually got the whiff animation as well, this weapon. Um, it's easy to just kill her by accident. So the best way to do it is stick throwing knives in her, because when the first one sticks, you can see where she is. Um, and then you can just track her and uh, stick her a couple of times in quick succession. And there you go, she appears. And the tail cut is very, very easy. She's a re re really easy boss when she, uh, when she's not invisible. Very, very easy. Oh, I've got my guard broken there. All to do with rust. I'm gonna put it down to rust anyway. Maybe I just suck fucking shit. I always forget about the follow-up attacks from the painting guardian sword, and I don't know why because I've used that weapon a lot. It's one of my favourite uh, dex in weapons using buffs like the one I just picked up, actually. Hmm, I have to get used to this weapon. It is really strange considering it's so such a big fucking long piece of uh, piece of equipment, but um, it's got that. It's got that move set. I'm trying to compare it to something. Look at the way it bends. I'm trying to. Now let's just see what the uh, sort of uh, diagonal slash. What about the roll? So. Hmm. It's got a strange move set, strange move set, and it's really, like I said, it's really strange. It's it the ma the thing that makes it strange. The main thing is the fact that it is so large, but it's got that, uh, you know, the sort of battle axe move set. But that heavy attack is really odd. The way the act actually bends, that's really weird. I don't know whether that's very useful or whether it's just for shits and gigs. I don't know. Um, let's level up a bit. Uh, what do we want? Um, we can only level up once. Let's level up the decks. We'll end up with quite a few souls uh, if we manage to get through this. In fact, let me just check if am I actually human? I, I'm indeed human. Not this standard helm. There it is. Karina helm. Because we are badass. At least we can one-shot these fuckers. Um, what have we got? What have we got? There we go. Humanity. Another thing as well is... Have I got any blooming purple moss? I do have some blooming purple moss. Just to defend against that annoying fucking toxin. If you finish him with a backstab, you don't have to worry about that. But, you know, 
It's all precautions. There we go. You don't have to worry about if you finish them with a backstab or I believe if you finish them with a fire attack as well. Which you can use, um, you can actually use uh, charcoal pine resin, which is quite useful. Uh, this has always been a, a, an area which I'm quite undecided about. I can't decide whether I love it or hate it. It's because it's just an optional area and it's a bit... I don't know. It, it's interesting. It's interesting for a law perspective because of the whole Velka connection. Um, but it's a so-so area, I think. It's... I don't know. Neither here nor there. Now, there's places like Isolith, which I just fucking love, and places like Blighttown that I just fucking hate. That rat has come a long way. It's fucking hellbent. Also sounds like a fucking rabid dog as well. Let's go and get the pickups. Because that's what kind of fucking player... You know, it doesn't matter what kind of build I actually do. I pretty much always pick everything up. And I don't know why. It's a complete waste of time. Um, <laughs> you know, pretty much. Uh, I'm not quite sure why I do that. But I do. It's just something that I do. This weapon... It actually doesn't bounce off walls, which I really, really like. Yeah, ambushed here. I, th I don't know whether you can actually get them to ambush you without picking this up. No. Must be dependent on that. Going for the grab maneuver. Wow, taking a beating from this fucking ta tail axe. Wow! I actually survived. Oh my god. How did that happen? <laughs> oh, it's even a reprisal. I actually can't believe that just fucking happened. That was incredible. I can't believe it actually managed to jump over the wall and land perfectly onto me fucking head. It should just it should just like slide off with your fucking uh, slick onion head. It should just slide off. Oh, they should start fucking crying. <laughs> oh, that was incredible. See, that's why Dark Souls can still be entertaining. Shit like that happens and just surprises the fuck out here. I've never in all of my years seen anything like that. That was very, very odd. And the fact that I survived was just incredible. I hate you. I really fucking do. Invincibility frames for the win. Dodging to the side for the win. Backstabs for the win. I usually always get uh, toxic to pretty much always. 